Hi guys, my name is Kuram and today I'm going to talk about angular unit testing. This is my first part where I will talk about what is unit testing, why we need it and how to start. Unit testing is opposite to end-to-end -end testing. End-to-end -end testing is where we test the complete application or a complete feature of the application as an end user. However, in unit testing, we test a small unit of the code in isolation. That's why we also call it isolated unit testing. Now the question is, what is unit of the code? Unit of the code, it can be a small part of any part of the application. For example, it can be a pipe where we, uh, where we check that it has transformed properly, or it can be a service where we test that our logic is correct and it's giving the expected results, or even it can be a part of the component where we test that DOM element has rendered properly, in component has correct input or outputs, or even we can test the properties. So small unit of the code can be any part of the application. Why we need unit testing? There are many good reasons, but for me, the most important is confidence. Because with the manual testing, it's not possible to write or test each and every critical function. However, it's quite possible with the unit testing. And this gives us the confidence that our code is not only complete, but it's also very, very reliable. Unit testing also helps us to have modularity. When we applying unit testing, we write, we divide actually functionality with small functions, and then we combine these functions into the modules, which becomes flexible or maintainable because we can re replace them or even we can re remove them totally. So unit testing can help us to have a good project structure. It also can speed up development process because in the manual testing, developer write the code, send to the tester, tester, uh, test the code, find the bugs and send back to the developer and so on. This whole process needs a great uh, level of transaction time. However, this is not the case with unit testing, especially if we having with the framework like TDD, test driven development, because here we set iteration time very small. So our code can be ready for production in very short time as compared to manual testing. And it's not only the speed, the unit testing can also be very economical. How to start with the unit testing? First of all, we need some tools, development tools. For example, if we are working with the Angular, we need Node.js, we need Angular CLI and text editor. I'm using uh, videos to record, but anyone can use any text editor. Beside the development tools, we also need testing specific tools. For example, if you are working with the Angular, we have some options. However, I'm using Jasmine and Karma. Testing is a Jasmine is a testing framework. It gives it is give us the methods to write the test. It also have execution engines, and it also have a mechanism to show the results in different outputs. However, Karma Karma is only a browser based test runner. Actually, it gives us chances to to run the test cases in the real environment. And if we can see the results like this one, if this is the interface for the Karma. Okay, now let's talk about some practical stuff. Whenever we create some project or component or even a service with CLI command, it automatically create a testing file. Testing file mean the file which has extension spec.ts. Actually, I have created my project with CLI. That's why I have already a testing file. But it doesn't mean that we cannot create it manually. I think it's a good idea to have manually. So first of all, I'm going to create a folder extra, and then I'm going to have a file. New file extra dot spec dot ts. The dot spec dot ts mean is now testing file. Okay, we start the testing file with describe. So describe and now we have some arrow function okay let's say extra testing file and now we can describe our first test we start test with it and then give the name let's say extra extra one just and again an arrow function and here we can test what we are going to test so let's say expect it means we are expecting one dot to be 
to be actually there are many functions see them there are many but i'm just saying to be to be mean is equal to one so actually i am testing here one is equal to one now i like to see the result so the command is ng test to run the test okay maybe it will take a little bit time okay so now we can see here are the four tests one two three three tests are here so one two and three and one from the second uh, second file and they all are green it means they all are passed okay let's oh, check one more thing we can also test that one two be greater than zero which is also true if i save so still the four tests are passed and let's write one more test this time we say oh let's call it two we say hello mr hurram actually screen to be Khurram. here we saying we are expecting that hello mr Khurram is equal to Khurram, and now it's failed let's see in the browser and we say extra true which is a test and it's failed it's expecting that this string is equal to this one and which is false why because it's, they both are not equal but instead of to be we can say to contain now it will be passed because we are here we are saying this string contain this string so hello mr quorum contain quorum which is right and now five tests are passed and all are green so this is how we create manually file and we also can create manually test now let's ignore this one and let's back to the our uh, file which cla has created for us okay as i said with the unit testing we can test many things for example in this file first is testing that our component is existing right now i have only a single component which is running here so here it's saying that its component is existing which is true that's why the test is passed secondly is testing that there is a property in the component name title and it has value bab okay this is the class there is a property name title and it has bab so it is also true that's why the second test is also passed and the last thing here is testing that there is a dom element name span it's a span and inside the class content and this it has this string so we can also check this one if we go here it's a html file this is the class and okay this is a span and it has uh, bab app is running title is a variable so it and it has name bab so it, here the text will be bab app is running so all these three tests are passed and that's why it, they are green in the browser okay let's okay we have we haven't discussed about before each before each is a configuration section it runs before any test so if we configure anything for example here we are testing app component and we have so we have declared it and now compile so it up to this line before to run the first test it has compiled and it's ready to test and uh, except in this one this is a test bit test bit is the largest utility actually it's create the testing environment for example here we can see it's resetting testing environment retesting the uh, testing module initializing test environment and so on so actually it's create that environment so we can test our component or even uh, the test okay let's see if uh, if we instead of this one if i say if i change this property for example here instead of this one i change this property instead of bab i i say bab one then two tests will be failed why because it says app title it should be bab but instead of this one it is it is bab one so it's fail and this is also the fail but we can make it pass by just changing the here or in different ways 
No, okay. All tests, okay. Okay, so now all the tests are passed. This is the basic, and uh, I think we, I have described enough stuff to start uh, to start the unit testing. So that's it. That's for enough for that uh, video. Thank you so much for watching.